The Richmond Animal League is the area's oldest nonprofit no-kill shelter and is committed to helping animals find their forever homes. And their annual Operation Silent Night initiative kicked off on December the 11th. Here to tell us more is Lauren Decker, and we welcome her back to Virginia this morning. Always good to see you, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you so much for having me. Well, anybody that's ever been to the Richmond Animal League's uh, place knows that it's not silent in there, hardly ever. There's a, no. there's a lot of barking and meow and a lot going on yes. in there. But tell us, um, you're gonna celebrating a big anniversary this year. This kind of started yes. as somebody threw it up as an idea and they went, no, that won't work. And it has. Yes. So 10 years ago, um, staff at REL, we were in a staff meeting and someone threw out the idea of sending every single pet home for the holidays and clearing the shelter. Um, had never done something like that before. And we just said, why not? Let's go for it. Um, so we let the community know what we were doing. We lowered adoption fees. Um, we expanded our foster program and we got every animal out of the shelter right before Christmas. Um, and we have been that for, gosh, this is our 10 year anniversary of sending every pet home for the holidays. And we couldn't do it without our amazing community. Um, and of course, you know, like you said, it is noisy here, rarely ever silent. But of course, for <laughs> the shelter, it is silent for that one moment. And we do end Operation Silent Night with a luminary ceremony and people can purchase luminaries to honor their pets or loved ones. Um, and we honor all the pets that have found homes in that year. And we, you know, honoring those that are near and dear to our hearts during the luminary ceremony. And it's just a wonderful event. Well, it may have seemed like a wacky idea at the time, but boy, what a holiday tradition it's turned into. Yes. And like you say, you, you lowered the adoption fees to make it mm -hmm. easy for folks to get a new family member in their home. And, yeah. if, uh, you know, if they're not if they can't make that commitment and it is a big commitment. And I, and yes. I know you stress that because you want these people and their pets to have a great a family life. But if you can't make mm -hmm. that big commitment, then you can foster for the holidays, yes. which is so special. Absolutely. So, you know, there's many different ways to help out during Operation Silent Night. Of course, there's adopting, which is incredible. But, you know, if you're not quite ready to adopt, fostering is amazing. And you can invite a furry friend home to your home for Christmas um, and let them enjoy the holiday with you and give them a break from the shelter, which they will love. Um, if you go to our website and click on Operation Silent Night, you will see the interest form to become a foster during OSN. Um, and we will do our best to match up people with pets. Um, but of course, if we um, don't have one for you now, we will continue to reach out to potential fosters into the new year. You know, those people that foster, especially at the holidays, they're so special. Yes. It, it, it's like they're helping you, but you end up helping them, don't you? Uh, it's It's amazing. And uh, you know, I've had the pleasure of, you know, having inviting some furry friends to my house um, occasionally and, it, you know, giving them that break and time away from, you know, as the shelter environment is stressful um, and it not only helps the pets, but it's also, you know, it's enriching your life too. I mean, nothing is a greater feeling than knowing that you are making an impact in this pet's life. Well, you got a great piece of artwork there behind you. And I understand <laughs> yes. there's a cat there with you, but yes. it's a cat. And uh, they don't necessarily perform on cue. So you had no. it right before we came on, but it got away. It did. Um, you can find him on our website. His name is Scorpius. Um, he's about five years old. Uh, you might not be able to hear him, but he's actually meowing a lot. And he's exploring the office right now. And he is so <laughs> sweet. Um, he loves head scratches, ear scratches. Um, he is, just loves people. He'll come right up to you. Um, but of course, he's in a new environment right now because he just came over from the shelter. So he's, you know, he needs to explore every nook and cranny. Um, but he's amazing. Um, and you can see him right on our website. Um, and, and so, you know, for, during Operation Silent Night, uh, we are encouraging everyone to look at all of our pets right at RAL.org, um, especially as our shelter is not open for walk-ins. Oh, but, there's somebody you know, behind you. Ah, right. uh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> right on cue. That's perfect. 
He says, check me out on the website. Check out all my friends at ariel.org. Um, and if you want to meet a new furry friend during this time, all you have to do is submit an application to adopt at ariel.org. And we are setting up meet and greets with applications for potential adopters. All right, Lauren, thank you. And thank your friend behind you there. And we wish you and everybody at Richmond Animal League the best of luck with this year's 10th anniversary campaign yes. to have a silent night there at Richmond Animal League. Richmond Animal League presents their annual Operation Silent Night that is currently underway. The extended adoption runs through December 22nd. The event will culminate on December 23rd with a virtual luminary ceremony. For more information, please visit ral.org and stay with us because Virginia This Morning returns after a quick break. <laughs>